Finding the body color code. Determine the color code of a vehicle according to the information about the vehicle construction order or the color information of the vehicle type. If the code cannot be determined, it is necessary to compare the data given in the color card and select a similar color card for reference. To compare the data from several color cards with the color of real vehicle, it is first necessary to select the color formula with the same particle size, roughness, and glossiness of aluminum pigment or mica pigment. Because the size of the particles of the aluminum pigment and the mica pigment cannot be changed, if the wrong formula is selected, the color cannot be matched by any fine toning. Some colors may have different colors. Please select the color card of the nearest color. If the color difference between the color card and the body panel is large, a color difference analysis should be performed. Observe all color samples squarely, obliquely, and at a lower angle. Exclude the color formulas with different roughness and gloss. Confirm and narrow the range of toner formulations to two in this video case. Determine the hue, brightness, and color saturation chroma, of the two toning formulas. If the aluminum pigment is coarser than the actual vehicle when it is viewed squarely, and it is still coarser than the actual vehicle when it is viewed obliquely, it has a strong luster when it is viewed either squarely or obliquely, it can be confirmed that the aluminum pigment in the formula is coarser than the actual vehicle pigment. Observe other color formulations in the same way. For example, if the aluminum pigment in this color formulation is finer than the actual vehicle when it is viewed squarely, and then the reflective gloss is weaker when it is viewed obliquely, it can be confirmed that the aluminum pigment of the color formula is finer. Confirm the nearest color formulation and look for the color formula based on the color information provided by the paint manufacturer. It is recommended to print the color formula and add the records at the time of adjustment to facilitate usage later in the work. Preparing the Toning Color Master Batch Prepare the color master batches, check the color master batches in the color formula, and fully stir the color master batches with a paint disperser. In particular, the aluminum pigment and mica pigment shall be sufficiently mixed because of the density of these pigments is big and they tend to sink onto the bottom and result in an uneven concentration of color master batch. Weighing the color master batch. Weighing is carried out on an electronic scale according to a color formula. When blending, add the color master batches with higher content in the formula so as to prevent the color master batches with less content from being uniformly stirred at the bottom of the tank, and perform uniform stirring as soon as possible once the weighing is over. Meanwhile, fully stir the coatings adhering to the sides of the container. Spraying the color disc. Metallic paint has different colors in dry and wet states. Be sure to keep the number of sprayed layers on color palette the same as that on the actual painted vehicles. Pour the stirred coating into a spray gun through a filtering funnel. Adjust the spray gun to a state for actual vehicle spraying. Trial spray the color plate with the coating. Because the area of the sprayed color plate is small, the coating may get wet due to the spraying condition. If the actual spraying area is larger, for example a door panel, the spraying conditions will change and the coating will get dry. The spray conditions of the color test board shall always be the same as those of the real vehicle. Allow flash time after applying a layer of coating, and then Apply a number of color coatings until the color test board material is covered. When the base color coating is thoroughly dry, spray a varnish coating and have it dried in the color palette oven. Comparing the colors. 
Consider the flash of aluminum pigments, check the arrangement, luster, and hue of aluminum pigments and mica pigments from different angles. Compare the color difference between the color palette and the panel. Analyze the color difference, refer to the diagram of characteristics of color master batches, and confirm whether or not the analysis is correct. Fine adjustment of color. According to the analysis result, add the color master batch in short appropriately. The color master batch shall be added in accordance with the factors such as concentration of color, master batches, and diagonal color, and it is recommended to add color master batch by about 10% of the formulation each time for judgment. During actual color adjustment, these steps, namely color palette spraying, color comparing, fine adjustment of color, may need to be repeated for multiple times. Under the same conditions as the first color test board, spray another color test board and compare colors. Repeat this step until the color is consistent. Arranging the color data. After the paint formula is adjusted, the new formulation needs to be rearranged and the newly prepared color formula, color palette, and spray conditions of the color shall be archived together.